All right, now that we have all these rules about perspective, let's finally put it together and maybe do some sort of scene. Uh, here I have an example of one that I've drawn in the past, and you can really smell the two-point perspective, right? Uh, it goes like there, over there, and right over here. And uh, you can really see it down here. And a lot of times I put elements over like this close, specifically so that you can see that distortion. Same thing up here. And uh, this is the kind of stuff I really like, where it's a city, but uh, fantastical, and you know, it's the stuff that I really like drawing. So try to do what you enjoy drawing. And you can notice that one of the first things that defined this whole scene was this little guy right here that I drew. Why does that define it? Because that's our sense of scale. So right from the start, it was preordained that if this is the measure of a man, then our viewer is three men tall. So we're slightly higher up than he is. We're like perhaps at a window here. Uh, <clears throat> and I use that to inform the scale for this whole thing. And you're going to see how. Another example of this uh, that I've done is this one, where I used a low angle. And this is using a couple of secret perspective cheats that you can do in uh, a digital program like this that we're not going to mess with. But you can see there's like some slight bend to this uh, to represent both three-point perspective and a bit of fisheye lens. And you know, even down to stuff like the details under this bridge over here, stuff like that is still using two-point perspective. And you can see that this one does not put the perspective points right on it. It has a little bit more realistic uh, ideas about it where that point would be something like over here maybe. And we can test that. That looks right. That looks about right. So yeah, somewhere about over there. And then similarly, if I had one right there, how's that? That one's not so accurate. So there. So this one needs to move further back. But very similar to it, one of the first things I drew was this guy right here. And this ended up informing the entire drawing. So just always keep that in mind, is your sense of scale. How tall is a doorway? Well, this one's a really fancy doorway, so... It's like a gigantic three-person tall thing. You can even see over here, like, there's one story, there's two stories. There's a third story back, back there. Way over here, this guy would be right there. So I use that measurement to place this guy. And then I think I have one other one. Oh, yeah, so this one's a little more advanced. But uh, I'm still trying to do the same stuff. I'm always trying to think how tall is a person. How does that inform something over here? How big is the doorway? Well, this guy has to walk through it. Let's put a guy here. And then I'm using two-point perspective here with a high horizon. So let's do a new one. And I want to do something that's kind of like a city street, but uh, I want a lot of, you know, I want to do the stuff I like, which is spaceships, right? Uh, so I want something where uh, there's methods of transportation and uh, you know, we can kind of see that here. Uh, so I looked up some reference photos for like airports, for monorail terminals. Uh, these are the canals in Amsterdam. And you know, they have to have like this means of transport. And the people are sort of on this secondary level. And I also want impressive sort of futuristic skylines. So this is Singapore, I think. Just a couple things that I'm gonna keep in mind as I work on this. So the first thing I do is I set up a horizon, right? I have a principal vanishing point, a diagonal vanishing point there, a di diagonal vanishing point there. And I'm just going to be a little bit sketchy here. I'm going to use like this bright red. And I want my drafting layer. And I can turn this assistant on and off. But so the first thing I need to do is establish some sort of general idea of this. And maybe I won't have it on now. Uh, I'll just do some thumbnailing, right? 
the so here, let's do our thumbnailing on a new document. So maybe this is something where there's like a big street right there and it goes into a building like that. And similarly, maybe we have like a spaceship going up here. Maybe one more like crossing over the bridge. And people about that big. That was too much for a thumbnail. Maybe it's something like there's my horizon. I really like starting with one big maybe something where we get a little more of that fun of the perspective distortion that you see at this level. And then maybe the building is kind of rising up out of this. Here. I'm still eyeballing. Maybe it's more like uh, over here we have this distortion. Maybe I want to have that as just like a physical road. Maybe this is like a bridge. And this is like a tunnel that spaceships come out of, right? Maybe it's uh maybe it's more like that Singapore market. Where we have more a bit of an open space over here, so you know, we can get some sense of <coughs> stuff. And then the spaceships and the people are only gonna start yay far back. So, man, if I just cut, maybe. I'm starting to get some idea of what I want to work on. You 
know, these are 30 seconds each, so it never hurts to make them. You can take it or leave it. I think I want to have like one central building. be viewing its sort of connection to a larger plaza. And then spaceships are flying here, but also into there. Well, let's check reference. something more like this where maybe the important thing to mark is actually the two point perspective going this way there's a little person up there. That's getting attached to like a larger building like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. If you're thumbnailing this on paper, I recommend specifically uh, that uh, you do something like ink, where you can make really big mistaken statements pretty fast. So this is having a sense that I'm, now I'm starting to get somewhere I like, where I have this sense of I don't know, like a big sort of gateway that goes here. You can imagine people walking around here, they're catching a terminal bus type thing up here that's going in two-point perspective towards this. And yet you also can have like a space bus. Let me think. Um, it's sort of traveling above or underneath this. And so yeah, there may be one down there. Maybe like, maybe like a small taxi cab right here picking people up. Like, there's the size of our person. So that's a good thumbnail. It seems like not a lot has happened yet, but a lot has already been decided that's going to make this a lot more successful just by doing that ideation process. So now I'm over here, and <clears throat> let's start with uh, some of our baseline stuff. This is going to be a layer where, actually here, actually copy it and paste this in there. Pardon my throat. 
still getting our right call. So now we can just reference that whenever we need it. So on our draft layer here, I'm going to turn my assistant on. And for now, because I'm just getting major lines in, let me get rid of this one point perspective. Because I want to get some guidelines that are going to inform this throughout. Actually, add a parallel ruler. Here.
So where's our first spaceship? Maybe something like that. Uh, <coughs> where's that uh, taxi cab? I actually think this this area might I more like that. I want that fall off over there. And similarly. I think I want this support beam to be more like that. And if you're working on paper, you can always just trace over your mistake afterward. So uh, it's very handy to start off with a drawing where you don't have to limit yourself. This is not the final one that I'm going to do. I'm going to trace something over on top of this. But I want to make sure that I'm making a good perspective idea to start with. So we've got our opening, and now we can actually put a human figure in maybe. So maybe there's somebody right here waiting for a cab. And notice what I did, I established a scale. So this guy from there to there is one person. And I'm specifically going for about uh, halfway to the horizon. So that means anything that's touching the ground meaning this flat platform. If it goes through the horizon, it's 12 feet tall. Now I can also maybe put in like a space bus here. That this guy is catching a ride on. Maybe it's like a double decker type thing. zooming along. And I think this one I want to be even more massive. So, that's what I want. I want to see it intersect. I want to see it intersecting. I think I might eventually move it down further. Because I think that makes just a better <coughs> a better read to see this go beyond there as opposed to like rest inside of it.
So there's going to be the, the profile of this in perspective. Maybe it goes a little further back. Just because, again, I want to have like a sense of massiveness about this. Another thing that's fun to do is if we know that this to this is 12 feet, we can start doing more people and just really emphasize that sense of scale a lot more. So from here to here is 12 feet, therefore from here to here is 6 feet. like a small child here and I want to make a mess you know I want this to really be doodly so this from here to here is 6 feet so that's 12 feet so this is 18 feet 24 feet this is like a 30 foot hangar bay in other words this is somewhere that you know some sort of large ship comes out of So if we know this is like the edge of our hangar bay, we can start actually erasing our horizon. Because now there's like a wall there. I don't want to over erase it because you know we're still in the sketch stage. We need that around so that we can see what we're doing. Maybe right around here. Oh, maybe like this is actually like the wall of another building.
So if this is where this ends, I want to change it so that it's a little more straight up and down. Let's put it in like a little cafe, maybe. So if this is a six foot tall person, and maybe they're like seven foot tall. So like a cafe would maybe be like, put little signs up. Maybe I want to round this corner. Just to add a little more visual interest. <clears throat> I think I actually it's too confusing having this right here. So I think I actually want to add like a building. that either. You know what? Maybe I'll just extend this. jump around a little more. Where does this little bridge go to? Well, we have our sense of scale, so we should be able to just uh, work our way around it. Maybe somewhere up here, kind of like how this in a reference footage, you can see like a bridge going into something.
<clears throat> now you're going to start noticing things like uh, yeah you've got this good setup so far but what you have to remember is that all your little details are going to start also following these same rules. So for instance, if I want to add some windows, I can start using things like cutting diagonals to find my midpoint. And start adding patterns that repeat also. that to feel like it's a continuation of a road. close and reopen. We'll call it there for now. Next step is going to be adding in more elements, adding in details, and finishing the rendering.